down in the southern United States, five NASA centers are in the midst of a once-in-a-generation transformation. The Space Agency is working on a massive rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS, and a new human crew capsule called Orion. To see how those programs are doing, the Planetary Society went on a 10-day, 450-mile journey across the South. We called it the Rocket Road Trip. We drove from Alabama to New Orleans, Louisiana to check out the Mishoot Assembly Facility. The Saturn V was built here, along with every single space shuttle external fuel tank. And now, NASA is using it to build SLS. It's 43 acres under one roof line. That's like 31 football fields that can fit in this particular building. 31 football fields 31 under, one roof. under one roof. So we can, we can have a lot of football going on here, <laughs> but our job is to build rockets. You can't get to Mars without going through New Orleans. Here's how the rocket gets built. Large sheets of metal come into the facility and get welded together into giant domes and barrels. Those, in turn, get welded into the massive fuel tanks that make up the rocket's core stage. Welding all that together takes some one-of-a-kind tools. Some of this technology simply didn't exist until NASA and its contractors invented it. The biggest welding tool of them all is the Vertical Assembly Center. It's the largest spacecraft welding tool in the world. So we're standing in front of the Vertical Assembly Center. It stands about uh, 180 feet tall. So everything that you're looking at that's yellow or white or blue is the actual weld tool. The silver part is the actual flight article, the tank, that's in the weld tool. So the way it works, it's effectively like a reverse PEZ dispenser. So you bring your first component in, whether it's a dome or a ring, you attach it to the big yellow lift ring up at the top. You load your first barrel panel, it rolls in under the tool, raises up to weld height, you marry the two together, you get them just right, and then you do a full circumferential weld, put another barrel in, bring it in, raise it up, do another weld, so you're just gradually moving it up, and we just finished the last weld on this tank last night on second ship. We get one shot, it's gotta be right. Some of the tasks are not so complex, some of them are very complex. We have some intricate welding that has to be done. We have thermal protection system applications that take strict parameters as it relates to temperature, humidity, etc. Building a rocket is really rocket science. This flight tank is the largest major piece of the rocket to be finished so far. In two years, it will be sprayed with orange insulation, bolted to the rest of the core stage, and flying into space. Once the rockets are built, they need to be tested. And for part four, we'll head to Mississippi for more from our rocket road trip. If you want to dig deeper into NASA's human spaceflight program, be sure to visit planetary.org slash horizon goal. There, you can read our multi-part story series on space policy and rocket science.